Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to perform a continuity test on your brake handles. Uh, in my previous video I showed you that your scooter will not move until you fix the brake handle and uh, in order to know if this is the problem you just simply unplug them from the, from the electrical box in the battery compartment. But there is a two plugs and they are not marked which one is left when which one is right side and uh, if you unplug them and your scooter is working fine that's a great news now you have to buy a new part and you have to replace it but you have to know which one to buy left or right side because they both they are not interchangeable between each other so usually those brake handles never fail because uh, they are I would say even waterproof in some ways but uh, because, because that inner pin inner uh, push button inside it has a, like a silicone uh, protected uh, gasket but still maybe you left it outside it was a heavy rain or you flooded that scooter accidentally who knows uh, then you would have some corrosion inside of that switch or if you see exposed or broken wires right here then obviously you need to replace it and unfortunately you cannot buy that switch separately so you have to buy the complete handle anyway so let's start it so if you unplug uh, unplug your handles and uh, like in my previous video part number one and your scooter is moving uh, then now you have to find out which one you need to uh, replace and for this you will need the multimeter uh, preferably digital one that you can switch it to the ohms with the sound notification so in my case I'm gonna see a little symbol in that corner and when I'm going to touch two probes together it's going to make beeping noise that's mean that uh, the power is coming from A to B and uh, it's passing power so for this test you don't need to connect battery, you don't have to turn on the ignition in your scooter, you just have to find those uh, brake handles plugs, which is uh, from the controller side is going to be with the black and the purple wire, and from the scooter handle uh, bar side is going to be red and uh, like a dark blue okay so you don't even have to unplug it but you can unplug it to verify if you are testing the proper plug so it's supposed to say brakes and you can leave them plugged in now with your multimeter you're going to insert the probe between the plastic plug and the connector and now you're going to press the handle well let's see I'm going to press the left side and if it's going to make a beeping noise then the switch is working fine if it's not going to make the beeping noise then maybe that's another side so let's see well that was a pretty good guess and I see that my left hand side is fine now you can mark your uh, hand uh, so you know this is a left side if you have some kind of market so put L left side for the future just in case now remove it and look for another one same plug it's gonna say brakes and this is from the right side so I'm going to insert the probe between the plastic plug and the connector maybe your probes are going to be a little bit thicker than mine so you can try to do it from the inside if you want but it's going to be not very convenient for you maybe somebody can hold that plug for you and you can and you can uh, insert in my case it's staying there and i'm going to press the right hand side brake handle and mine is working so both of the brake handles are fine but in your case if one of them is making noise you just have to mark it which one is that and if another one is not making noise it's not passing power then you have to replace that side of the handle and that handle sold all together as an assembly you cannot buy just a switch as I said before now little bonus for you 
you will always know if you have a problem with the brake, uh, brake handle or not if your scooter stop moving suddenly and you are on the middle of the road and uh, you don't know what to start with and how to diagnose your scooter well you don't even have to remove the uh, the battery and you don't even have to have any tools if the scooter would be if your scooter would be equipped with the rear stoplight like similar to this you see that you can buy any kind of lights you can go to the Rosso Motors website look for the 36 to uh, 36 volt uh, rear stoplight from any equipment that you wish they have all kinds of uh, shapes uh, like this one for example will work really nice the only thing that you will not have a proper connection so you would have to modify the connection or solder it together but let me show you a little trick so for example if you look at this uh, all of those connections that you see here you will find one single plug that will be marked brake light it will not be connected to anything because this scooter is not equipped with a brake light so if you will have a stoplight like that and if you will use black wire and the red wire let's see here and if you will connect your battery I'm going to connect my battery right now okay okay now and I'm going to turn on the ignition so I'm going to have lights and now I'm going to press left hand side brake handle and you see I have a stoplight so if this stoplight would be here and if this stoplight would be on your scooter will not move until you uh, actually fix the handle which one yes that's you would have to figure it out uh, by my previous test that I showed you a couple minutes ago you would have to have a multimeter but this would be a first indication what's the problem with your that, that you have a problem with your scooter why it's not moving so your stoplight is constantly on but yes again you would have to install this light yourself and uh, if that would be the issue you just simply uh, go uh, you know open up this lid unplug brake handles from there and your light will be off and your scooter will be driving again so you can make it home but that's that's a little bonus if you want to improve and uh, for faster diagnostics and to be more visible on the road you can always install it yourself any one of those lights yeah again you can buy them in different shape from Rosso company as long as it's 36 volts it's not going to have a proper connection so you would have to modify it yourself Maybe solder it or hardwire it directly and isolate with electrical tape and it's going to work well for you. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.